Hi, Taos County. This is reporter John Miller with a preview of what you can expect to see in print this week. First up, reporter Cody Hooks looks at the awesome water flow in the Rio Grande after one of the wettest winters in years. Cody breaks down what the high water level means for getting your thrills if you are looking to raft down the river, as well as the impacts the high water is having on the river's overall ecosystem. In education news, reporter Jesse Moya has a story on the Move On Up program at Taos Middle School, which is designed to help students, new students get familiar with the school. The program matches teachers with students in an effort to make the jump from elementary school to middle school a little smoother. In the courts, a Chamisal man has been indicted by a grand jury for allegedly killing his younger brother early one morning in Penasco last month. But the defendant tells a different story, that his brother instead shot himself. We delve into this sad story in this week's paper. And I know you all are hungry for more information on the homicide investigation at Taos Pueblo. Rest assured, I have been working to gather more details on this story, but investigations on tribal land are especially difficult. I spoke with the FBI this week and provide a few more details on where the investigation stood as of June 18th. And this week's Tempo cover story is on Dames, a provocative new art exhibition by a group of female artists that is likely to get people talking. In addition, we've got stories on the Belle Fleck and the Flecktone show that was a major get for Taos, the gala benefit for the Coos Foundation, and the next Taos Plaza live show featuring I Rebellion and Bone Orchard. Be sure to pick up a copy of Tempo for that and a whole lot more arts and entertainment news this week. In sports, look out this week for the 2019 All-Star Special section in which we honor athletes from all over the county and two coaches. You'll also find stories on some of our favorite sports moments, including standout photos from the year. We think you will want to see this section. And what do you do if you get injured in the backcountry and what gear should you have just in case that happens? Check out our story about an injured hiker in this week's health and fitness section. And health columnist Ellen Wood also reminds us to drink our greens. Also, Sri Yoga celebrates a decade in Taos with a community yoga event coming up. In weather, we're moving into the hottest part of the year, and the temperatures are reflecting just that, with highs moving into the low 80s and lows staying above 40 degrees at night. That will do it for this week's preview. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and check our website for breaking news updates. And as always, have a great weekend, Taos.